Hey everybody, it's Phil Ralston from Sunday's 9.30 service. I'm in D.C. again at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. You can see it behind me with the silhouette of his statue. Hope you're enjoying these D.C. videos. Hope you enjoy service with Pastor Dave and Pastor Diane, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, Phil. Welcome to worship at Christ the Servant from our living room to yours. We're so honored that you have chosen to worship with us in this way today. So let's turn up the volume and let's get started with a song that's good for beginning a new year, A Better Way. Everybody needs a little something more than simply living day to day. Wake up in the morning, go to bed at night. There's gotta be a better way. I'm here to tell you now about a life I've learned is more than it has ever seen. Open up your heart and let the Lord inside. It'll be more than you ever dream. Walking every day now with the Lord at your side is the only way for you and me. He'll give you such a joy and always be your guide. And then you'll know you've been set free. Jesus is the only way, the truth and the light. Beginning and the middle and end. Without Him there won't ever ever be enough. I'm telling you the truth my friend. joy of living in the Lord, it opens up a whole new way. Follow in His footsteps and you'll understand, and then you'll join me as I say. Walking every day now with the Lord at your side is the only way for you and me. He'll give you such a joy and always be your guide, and then you'll know you've been set free. Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life, beginning and the middle and end. Without Him there won't ever ever be enough, I'm telling you the truth my friend. Without Him there won't ever ever be enough, I'm telling you the truth my friend. I'm telling you the truth my friend. I'm telling you the truth my friend. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray together. Dear Father, I ask you to give me strength to live this day as you would have me live it. Guide me in shining with the light of Jesus Christ in my words and actions. Fill me with your spirit so that I may be for others an instrument of hope, peace, and love. Use me to bring joy to others so that they may understand the life you desire for all your children. Amen. God hears your prayer and fills you with the power to live today, tomorrow, and every day, enjoying new and abundant life. Live in newness of life. Amen. Amen. Joy to
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Christmas. Ninth day. And counting out the 12 days of Christmas, starting from Christmas Day, mm -hmm. the 25th. Today is the ninth day, so we are still celebrating Christmas, Christmas season. Mm -hmm. And I just have to say something about this shirt. This became my favorite Christmas shirt this year. It's hard to tell maybe if you're watching on a small screen, but all these Christmas trees on my shirt are made of Guitars. guitars, yes. And uh, I just thought that would be a, an appropriate thing to um, wear on. What we're doing is the last celebration of Christmas for our worship Fun, services. Festive. But uh, to remind me to thank our musicians who uh, worked on all of the recordings of all the Christmas music you've been hearing, mm -hmm. and that would be Dan J. Jack, Kylie Bestenlaner, Veronica Lee, and me. We all mm -hmm. worked together to record all of those songs, and uh, we hope you enjoyed all of that Christmas music as much as we enjoyed yeah. recording it for you. Our first reading is from Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 7 through 14. Thus says the Lord, Sing aloud with gladness for Jacob, and raise shouts for the chief of the nations. Proclaim, give praise, and say, Save, O Lord, your people the remnant of Israel. See, I am going to bring them from the land of the north and gather them from the farthest parts of the earth, among them the blind and the lame, those with child and those in labor together, a great company they shall return here. With weeping they shall come and with consolations, I will lead them back. I will let them walk by brooks of water in a straight path in which they shall not stumble. For I have become a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away, say, He who scattered Israel will gather him and will keep him as a shepherd of flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob and has redeemed him from the hands too strong for him. 
They shall come and sing aloud on the height of Zion, and they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. Then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty, says the Lord. Good news. Seems like the people who were going to return from exile, that's the message. They've been in exile, and the prophet says, you will get to return. God will bring now, you. Now, when you say exile, mm -hmm. just to explain that just a little bit, mm -hmm. is that the people had the, uh, the promised land. Mm -hmm. They were living there. And uh, over the years, other countries came and conquered portions of it. Mm -hmm. And so Jeremiah is now speaking to those that are in exile, the last ones, mm -hmm. uh, that God is going to bring you home. Right. You will be coming home. Even though Israel has not been faithful to God, yeah. God will be faithful to mm -hmm. his people mm -hmm. and bring them back to the land promised them. Yeah. And so that is why there should be gladness and shouts and praising of God. And also God's compassion is so much that everyone, God will make sure that everyone can make this journey. Yeah, it will be such a celebration. And we've been hearing very similar mm -hmm. uh, types of proclamation as we prepared for and celebrated Christmas, is that you sing and you shout and you praise the mm -hmm. Lord and you dance and all of these things. And so even now there is that, uh, again, the sing aloud with gladness, raise shouts, proclaim, give praise, because God is faithful to you. Mm -hmm. Not because good things are happening right now, but because God is good and God will be doing these mm -hmm, things. Mm -hmm. It's a promise. Yeah. This isn't after the fact they're celebrating. Mm. They're told to celebrate before. In anticipation, yeah. Now the way uh, it, it, it lists the people that will be coming back together. Uh, I will gather them from the farthest parts of the earth now, there are categories of people who are listed that will be making the journey. And while, of course, it says everybody mm -hmm. will be brought back home, there are four specific categories that would perhaps have difficulty mm -hmm. traveling a great distance uh, and maybe even have reason or excuse not to go. Mm -hmm. And the, the listed categories are the blind, I can imagine. That would be, be challenging. Difficult. The lame, Travel. without without benefit of a vehicle, those with child, and of course anyone even today that has kids, you know how hard it can be oh, to wrangle them together. Going on a trip, just all the travel, just this time of year. Oh and my and that's, that's those who have kids that are growing up. Yeah. And if you take this to mean those with child, meaning being pregnant, mm -hmm. that could be difficult. And mm -hmm. I won't even dare speak to that because that's something that women need to speak to. You wouldn't want to travel if you were getting close to the time for the baby. And the last category of even those who will be included, those in labor. Yeah, that's really, really pushing it. That's astounding. That's, the, that's, yeah. That even those in labor will yeah. make the journey home. And they are called a great company. <laughs> I, I just think that that's uh, noticeable that after listing those four categories of people mm -hmm. that will have a difficult time, they're all called a great company. And God will bring them home. And then how it even says that they will walk by brooks of water. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go hiking. It's so enjoyable 
to find a water, some streams? There are a few places around mm -hmm. here that you can walk by the Colorado River. Not many. Mm -hmm. But I guess the idea is that they will walk along a way where there's always... Water will be present. Water yeah. or a source of energy. Yeah. Now, there are times that we have traveled and driven through California. Mm -hmm. And boy, I tell you, it seems like there's 100 miles where you can't find a gas station. You're on the, the interstate, mm -hmm. and you're, you're thinking, surely this off-ramp. Yeah. And you don't, there's no signs. Mm -mm. And you can't tell, and it seems you, you pull off the off-ramp, and there's no gas stations. And, and now when we travel, we plan ahead. Yes, absolutely. And we know where to get gas in plenty of time so that we can get even all the way to San well, Diego. We, we load up with water. We don't, we don't oh, sit yes. out with extra water. So that idea of brooks of water, mm -hmm. you're always going to have that source. Right. And they're going in a straight path, <laughs> the shortest no distance, meandering. and they shall not stumble. Mm -hmm. For those of us of certain ages... What a great promise that would be if we knew we would never stumble. True. So the Lord is promising this return, mm -hmm. and it won't be difficult. It won't be hard. And you celebrate mm -hmm. just hearing about it. The description of the people continues on, that they shall be radiant over the goodness of the Lord. Can you think of how you felt when you thought, ah, oh, the pandemic is ending. It's all over with. There's vaccines. There's enough people getting the vaccines. Yeah. Enough people have been yeah. sick. There's going to be immunity and everything's going to get back mm -hmm. to normal. And now today, it seems like records are being broken everywhere in a bad way, not mm -hmm. in a good way. Mm -hmm. And to be radiant over the goodness of the Lord and the promise that there will be enough, more than enough of everything. The grain, the wine, and the oil mm -hmm. are specifically listed and that life will be like a watered garden. I love that image. Wow, for us here, it, mm -hmm. it seems like, well, we all know that in the summertime, especially if you have anything that's growing, it has to be watered mm -hmm. every day. To be like a watered garden just seems like such a luxury. Yeah. And there will be rejoicing. The young women shall rejoice. How? It says with dance. Yeah. You know what I think of? What? TikTok. Oh goodness. Yeah, I suppose. The short videos. That's yeah, it's very and popular. And it seems like so dancing. many of them, it's yeah. young women doing these real quick little dances mm -hmm. over and over and over. They're very, very popular. If you mm -hmm. haven't seen them, they're all over the place. And then people try to do another version of it, another version of and, it. And it seems like yeah. such a natural thing. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're always joyful. They're always mm -hmm. laughing and celebrating, big smiles. They will rejoice and dance. The young men and the old shall be merry. There's plenty of us who are grumpy. It'd be nice for them all to be merry. We'd be happy and turn their mourning into joy. Mm -hmm. There's too much mourning going on mm -hmm. among us these days of things we've lost, of abilities, of chances that we think we don't have anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe we need to hear the words of the prophet telling you that God is faithful to you. Mm -hmm. And even though the, things are difficult now, the time will come when God will take us back, mm -hmm. take us back home, Take us to the good land. Now the final thing, the final blessing of, of what the people will be receiving is left up to the priests. And I kind of get the idea that all of the people prosper first hmm. so that they have that to share with the priests, not just adequately, mm -hmm. but it says even the priests will have their fill of fatness. <laughs> Because, of course, we know fatness represents the best of everything. Yeah. You know, even in the grading of meats, you know, choice meats mm -hmm. is good, mm -hmm. but prime meats are the best. And, and that means... Lots of 
fat marble. They have fat yeah. in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the conclusion is the people will be satisfied hmm. with God's bounty. We look forward to that too. And this whole season of Christmas is a sign of that. Yes. Is that one day alone is not enough to contain the goodness of Christmas. And so it was decided we need at least 12, 12 days, days of celebration. to celebrate yeah. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm still eating some of the goodness oh, yeah. <laughs> that piles on the fat. But we're still celebrating here. Mm -hmm. Hope you are too. Our psalm is from Psalm 147. Worship the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion who has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. God has established peace on your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. God sends out a command to the earth and a word that runs very swiftly. God gives snow like wool, scattering frost like ashes. God scatters hail like breadcrumbs. Who can stand against God's cold? The Lord sends forth the word and melts them. The wind blows and the waters flow. God declares the word to Jacob, statutes and judgments to Israel. The Lord has not done so to any other nation. They do not know God's judgments. Hallelujah. Well, this is another one of the Psalms from the uh, last five Psalms of the book of Psalms. And they're all about praising God and thanking God. And so part of what we hear first is that, you know, God is faithful. God is faithful to the people uh, around Jerusalem and, and all around it. But also um, it talks of this God sending snow. And living in the North America continent, we might think, well, of course, it snows in the winter. What's nothing unusual about that? Uh, but keep in mind that in Israel, their climate is not so far different from our own. And so snow was kind of unexpected. It was, it was a surprise. And it was something that uh, was always in the mountains. Right. That, that's up one in, thing we like to say here in yeah. the Mojave Desert, that uh, we love seeing the snow up, in the up on the mountains. <laughs> and a good snowpack means mm. water. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ground mm -hmm. will absorb the water and the streams will mm -hmm. flow and that, that's a good thing. And even now, you've probably heard all the, the news reports of the, the big storms in the Sierra Nevadas of California mm -hmm. and breaking mm -hmm. records and, and the snowpack is over 150% of normal for this time of year. Mm -hmm. So for a part of our country that's been in a horrible drought, uh, at yeah. least that's good news for California. Uh, we're praying that Colorado will get a lot of good snow that's, on the western that's what comes slope because <laughs> that comes down the Colorado River. Right. So, so we do hope mm -hmm. for that. So the that snow is a good thing, and that's playing on this theme in the psalm that God is blessing us through creation mm -hmm. because all of there's a, a listing of these things of creation, the snow and the and the hail and the cold, mm -hmm. that it's it's a good thing. It's a, God is bringing something good. Again, it might, we might not notice it immediately, but then we come to realize that God is giving something good. And also when God gives us God's own word, same thing. Maybe at first we don't fully understand the goodness that God is sharing with us, but then it goes on to recognize that and say, thank you, God. No other nation has been given such a wonderful gift of your word. So that's why we thank you and we praise you and we say hallelujah. Our next reading is from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 through 14 and just so you know in the original Greek language this is one whole sentence, an entire sentence. I'm glad that English doesn't work quite like that. This is long. It is, it is. Well here we go. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world 
to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ, we have also obtained an inheritance having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people to the praise of his glory. Whew. One sentence. That was one sentence. Wow. Yes. I, I kind of have, um, well, for one thing, Paul is just exuberant, right? There's just, it reminded me a little bit, though, of one of those kind of uh, late night infomercials sort of, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. God's abundant goodness to us. But wait, there's more. It just kind of, it continues like, like a stream that's just tumbling and flowing. It, it, uh, it, it is full of all the good things that God is doing for us through Jesus. This, this is a, uh, it, it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a thanksgiving. It's also a, a statement and an introduction about the Christian church as who, we who are, are we all as together, as, yeah. the body of Christ, the mm -hmm. church. And it, it is overflowing. Mm -hmm. It just seems to cascade more and more. And even the, yep. the phrasing and the words, um, in Christ, and then repeating, in Christ, and then repeating, through Jesus Christ, and then in Him, and then again, yeah. in Christ, in Him. It's just always like it's cascading from one mm -hmm. in Christ rock to the next one as to the, the water one, yeah. flows over it and as the blessings flow mm -hmm. and as we, God's people, the church, are just continually, uh, everything is in Christ and through Christ. And lest we think we're the ones, mm. uh, it's according to the riches of His grace. Yes. God's doing in yes. Christ yes. over and over. So we as the church together in the world, everything we do, everything we are is in Christ and through Christ. is from John chapter 1 verse 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, 
but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who are born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. The glory is of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, this was he of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only son who is close to the father's heart, who has made him known. So here we are still in the season of Christmas, mm -hmm. and now we're reading through the fourth gospel, the gospel of John, but where's Christmas? There's no Christmas here, but it starts in a different way. Mm -hmm. and, and I kind of think of um, one of the favorite science fiction shows of all time, Space the final frontier and that's almost what this is like mm -hmm. there's there's no christmas because this is outside of time outside of time outside mm -hmm. of space outside of history mm -hmm. it is in the beginning the book of genesis mm -hmm. the very very first part the creation in the beginning exactly and that's yeah. what's happening here it takes us back to the mm -hmm. very beginning so mm -hmm. nothing else matters or influences the other gospels they start out by saying uh here were the important people of the time mm -hmm. oh right a decree exactly. went out yeah. from the emperor augustus you know mm -hmm. and, and listing all of the people so we can place the birth of the birth of jesus in, in history time space and yes. history yes this is outside of that mm -hmm. in the beginning was the word now this was a familiar concept to lots of cultures mm -hmm. because the word in um, in the Old Testament, well, in the New Testament time, the Greeks thought of the mm -hmm. word as a plan of the universe. Right. right. It was an ordering plan of the universe, very impersonal. Mm -hmm. And in the Old Testament, the word was seen as God's wisdom. Yes. So we have these kind of concepts, but this is very different. Mm -hmm. As we're going to see, the word is more than just a concept or a thought or an idea. But it is repeated over mm -hmm. and over. The word was with God. The word was there in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Again, it's emphasizing this. From the very, very start of anything and everything. From the outside mm -hmm. of all human existence mm -hmm. comes this word. And what the word represents is life. Yes. Life. We can all relate to that. Mm -hmm. And we see that the light comes into the world. And of course, we, we come to know that this word is Jesus. Yes. And he gives us power to become God's children. And again, it's not our power. Mm -mm. It's not that we have the power ourselves to become God children's because it's not through uh, blood or the will of the flesh or the yes, will yes. of anybody but it's the power of God that exactly does this. sometimes it's we try to dissect well what does it mean not the will of, of a human not the will of or not by blood and the point I think mainly is it's not we don't do it that's that's the really important thing it's just kind of going around of different perspectives of saying we're not the ones that do it only God can do this. Now, the, it continues on speaking of the word. And, and I should say that the, the, the Greek language of the Bible, that means or it, it is logos. logos That's yeah. what we translate into words. So if you've ever come across that 
logos. Mm -hmm. And we even get our English word of logo. logo. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, our church has a logo. Mm -hmm. Companies have logos. Right. The astounding thing comes, it's in verse 14, by the way. The word became flesh. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely astounding. In every other thing, it's a concept. Right. It represents something else. Mm -hmm. But here, the word is Jesus. And he comes, it says, full of grace and truth. It sounds nice, but again, that is astounding. Mm -hmm. Because in so many religious thought, in so many religions, the coming of the God would oftentimes represent wrath and destruction. Mm, judgment, yeah. But mm. Jesus comes full of grace and truth. Totally unexpected, totally different. And because of all of this, we receive not just grace, mm -hmm. but this one place in, in John is what we need to remember. That Jesus comes and we have received grace upon grace. Yeah. Kind of like in the Ephesians that we just read, that cascading mm -hmm. effect mm -hmm. of the water in Christ, in Christ, in Christ. Same thing, grace upon grace. Yeah. I think that's, that's good news for all of us who tend to maybe be a little harsh mm -hmm. on other people, be harsh on ourselves, maybe assume too much, maybe expect too much, mm -hmm. that that's what we do. God doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. Jesus doesn't do that. He comes fully and totally grace upon grace. of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar field and fountain moor and mountain following yonder star oh star of wonder star of night star with roar Star with royal beauty bright 
Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Glorious now, behold him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Heaven sings Peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. with us in speaking these words. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body, given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in His grace. Amen. Joy. 
bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Stay in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And you'll see us again here next week.